Good evening, and I'm coming to you a little bit more casually dressed this evening, but I hope all is well with each of you. Before I get started on today's video topic, I first want to thank all of our grocery store clerks and stockers. It's easy to take their positions for granted, but as I grocery shopped last evening, I remembered the invaluable efforts people have contributed to the ability to have fresh foods and the hours of exposure many of them have had to the general public. But today, as we expound upon my video messages, I'd like to discuss the topics. Are our assisted living and senior communities safe to live in right now? Or should we be considering a move into a community during these times? Last evening, I got a call from one of my clients who recently moved into a community this past December. He was sharing with me all the protocol procedures and the new rules the commu community was undertaking. At first, I thought he was calling to tell me how miserable things were, but he shared with me how happy he was that he made this move, and he felt so safe in spite of all the inconveniences of life within the community. So what are some of the standard protocols that I've been hearing within the communities? Well, let's just take a look at some of them. Many communities have closed their dining rooms now and are serving catered meals to the individual apartment units trying to minimize exposure to one another. All activities within most communities have been canceled, except I did see on Facebook something called Hall Bingo. Residents are opening their doors and sitting at TV trays playing bingo while someone calls out numbers over the loudspeaker. How fun and creative is that? All employees entering their community are temperature tested and are being asked to only go to work, home, and then back to work, limiting their exposure to the general public. Many communities have stopped, stepped up their protocol training with all of their staff on infectious diseases and pandemic measurements. No outside visitors are allowed, unfortunately, in most communities, but packages can be dropped off for delivery to our loved ones. CDC guidelines and general hygiene practices are seriously taken under consideration and when they work with the senior residents. While we just heard of a positive test within a nursing home in the Columbus area today, Please note that assisted living communities are not the same as nursing homes. Nursing homes have patients who are much more challenged with illnesses and chronic conditions that typically require skilled care. Their immune systems are compromised and are more susceptible to catching infections than other people. We still need to be cautious and nursing homes too are taking every precaution necessary to protect their facilities and their patients. But note that they are different from our assisted living communities. Tomorrow, we're going to connect with a representative from one of my communities here locally in the Gahanna area to share with us firsthand what's been going on behind the walls of her community. I can't wait to introduce her to you. Assisted living is here for the long term to serve you and your families. We are a no-cost referral agency that helps seniors and their families find the necessary resources and housing options when they can no longer live on their own. Just because we're in the middle of a virus crisis doesn't mean seniors are not moving into communities. People still need our services and still are in need of finding care for their loved ones. You can reach out to me by calling 614-636-4905, 614-636-4905. Assisted Living Locators of East Columbus is here to serve you. Call and reach out to me today.